Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I will try to convey everything I know about Olin's Valley. Participants in the game are not the places we are used to. This spot is a 300 AP, 380 DP recommended spot that takes time to grasp in detail. If you ask me, the 380 DP recommendation is a bit too optimistic. We have to add another 20 more DP to the value that the game offers us. So you must be at least 400 DP. Of course, it is possible to grind with lower DP but if you want to get efficiency from the spots you should not think too much about the danger of death right there are elixirs recommended for the spot to make players more comfortable yes you may be considering trying to grind the spot with priest draft frenzy draft and etc but i don't think you will get much good results later in the video i have included the full list of elixirs you need and recommended for this spot shy class is really important Thanks to the buff it provides, you can attack faster in the spot, you hit more with the AP buff Shire gives, and it offers you a more comfortable and reliable game in terms of resists and HP. Speaking of resists, spot has a lot of threats and CC is one of them. On the other hand, you should be careful about burst damage that given by mobs. You don't want to die from CC while grinding, do you? Especially, I recommend you to set your knockdown bound resist value to 100%. This is most important resists for this spot. In addition, minions have a chance to give stun CC and if you wish, you can adjust your stun resist to 100%. Remember, the Shaye in your party will give you the worst 20% additional resist buff. People generally prefer this spot to make La Arzaka armor. As you can see on the screen, you can check La Arzaka full costume sets how looks on male, female and Shaye characters. You have a low chance to get the Otrans right lung item directly from the spots, but you can get 100 leaves from spots and craft them with simple alchemy to get lungs. This is way too easier method to get lungs. There are also some treasure hunter players who spend hundreds of hours in this spot. One of the five rare items belonging to the rich merchant's ring can be obtained from this spot. I have had more than 450 hours in this spot and I haven't got it yet. Think about it. It's a place where you have to meet the prerequisites we have counted so far and drop it from a spot where you can grind with three people. Those who drop this item in a short time can consider themselves very very lucky of RNG carried. Please know the value of that item. There is an up to date quick guide about how to get your rich merchant's ring item on the channel. You can check it if you wish. We prefer to use Agress Fever in this spot. In general, it makes more sense to use Blue Scroll, but if you can get more than 4000 trash with Blue Scroll plus Agress, using Yellow Scroll will be quite efficient. Another source of money for this spot is Kafra Stone. Depending on your grind speed, the Kafra Stone you will either increase or decrease. Spot can be one of the most balanced spots in terms of income in the game. The faster you grind, more trash and more capras you'll get which is increase your income our average is generally more than 900 million with marketplace taxes removed at the same time the fang item drops from the spot you can craft five fangs to get ibador scroll i have a video on my channel of how to use this item you can also check this if you wish you can find the video links in the description section in the rest of video you can see the part where i explain the special skills used by the mob Please post the video to read the explanations I've written within these parts. Many people may not know especially the part when I describe the agro methods. This method will increase your hourly income. After this part you can find our grind of full rotation. There are also small explanations in this section. Afterwards you can find some rare item highlights. In the last part, the result of 4 hour test will be waiting for you. I was thinking of doing 10 hours, but at the end of each hour, I saw the average was always very close to each other and I kept the time short as there is no rare item to make money on the spot. I had 227.5% drop rate for all 4 hour tests. You can find my friends here in description section. I hope you guys like this content. Finally, preparing this and similar content is really long and tedious. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell and visit my Twitch channel where I stream regularly. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.